The LS2 Advent X Carbon is the best model helmet from the brand LS2. We gave it to our test rider, sent him out on the road and he came back with a lot of interesting data. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, Team with Japan Helmets here and welcome to our channel. For today's video I have the new LS2 Advent X Carbon. This helmet is the top model helmet from the brand LS2. And during our test we will discover if claims made by LS2 are true. We have put a lot of time and effort into these reviews with just one goal. So that you get to see an honest review based on facts rather than marketing language and personal opinions. So if you appreciate this effort hit that subscribe button and like the video so that we can continue to do these tests and you continue to receive honest in-depth reviews. With that out of the way let's go through some general points first. The first thing to note is that you can rotate the chin bar 180 degrees backwards so that when you ride a little faster with the chin bar open you experience lens wrist resistance. In addition the helmet has a more oval fit and has a retail price starting at around 470 euros and will compete with other high end model helmets such as the Shui Neo Tech 2, Schubert C5, AGC R591, AGV Sport Modeler and some other high end model helmets. We're going to start the review with the material part. And the Advent X Carbon is made of multiple layers of carbon. LS2 uses multiple layers of carbon because it results in a very strong but light modeler helmet. Carbon helmets are made of carbon which is the strongest material and usually this results in the lightest helmets available. The Advent X is available in 7 sizes and 2 Audi shell sizes. The number of 2 Audi shell sizes is not the best number a helmet can have. Because a helmet with more Audi shell sizes not only looks better and compact but is also safer. Adding all this up we see that the Advent X earns 3.5 stars for the material part. If we compare this to the other helmets we see that the finish is in the middle. It's on par with the Neotech 2, 2 modeler and the Exotech have finished below the Sport modeler X1005 and the R591. Which did just a little bit better due to more outer shell sizes. Ok great, we move on to an important part and that is the weight. This is an important part because a lighter helmet prevents fatigue in the neck and improves the riding experience. And when we weighed the Advent X in a size M, the scale indicated 1552 gram, which is a good result because model helmets are often on the heavier side compared to, for example, full face helmets. And because 2206 certified helmets usually need more material to pass this test, the 2206 helmets are therefore often heavier than its predecessor. With a result of 1552 gram, the Advent X finishes at the top of the list and is just slightly heavier than the Exotech Carbon. The lightest helmet was a spot modeler with an exceptional weight of 1341 gram. The other helmets were all heavier than 1600 gram with a few outliers over the 1700 gram. This is a great result for the Advent X, so very interesting results for the weight part. Alright, on to the visor. The visor of the Advent X Carbon is a 3D optical A-class visor which is scratch and UV resistant. The helmet is pinlock lens prepared and is included in the box. The pinlock lens included in the box is a max vision pinlock lens that ensures that your visor will not condense while riding. This is an extra that you really want when looking for a helmet. The helmet also has a quick release system which allows for quick and easy replacement of the visor. And the last thing we're going to mention is that the helmet comes with a free dark smoke visor, which is a nice bonus. And if we add all this up we see that the Advent X earns 5 stars for the visor. When we start comparing this to the other helmets we see that it does very well. It is on par with the Neotech 2 and Exotech Carbon. The Neotech 2 had a slightly better visor mechanism with no free dark smoke visor. And the Exotech also comes with an extra dark smoke visor and both earned 5 stars. Besides the 3 helmets we just named all the other helmets earned 4 stars for the visor. So the Advent X scores very well for this part. And now that we're done the studio we will move on to the road test. Before we start with the road test first a brief explanation of how we collect our data. On the left side you see a white thermometer which is connected to a sensor inside the helmet. This thermometer shows the inside temperature of the helmet. Above in the middle you see the decibel meter which is connected to a microphone placed near our rider's ear. This records the sound as our riders hears it. On the right we see a phone that displays wind speed and outside temperature. This is connected to a wind meter mounted on our bike. In the middle we see the dashboard showing the speed of our test rider. Now that that is clear we're going to start the road test with the noise. When we tested the helmet out on the road we had an average wind speed of 120 and riding speed of 130 km an hour. All the data that we gathered with our decibel meter showed us that the Advent X had an average of 103 decibels, which is not an amazing result. 
And when we compare this with the other helmets, you can see that the Advent X ends up in the bottom half of the list. With a result of 103 decibel, it is on par with the X1005 and Exotec. The R591 is the quietest helmet we measured with a reading of 95 decibel, which is exceptionally good, making it the quietest helmet we have ever tested. The least performing helmet was the Nolan N105 with a reading of 104 decibel. So the Advent X wasn't too great for noise. And now we move on to the ventilation. Okay, ventilation of a helmet is important, especially if you are going to do longer trips on hot days. A well ventilated helmet improves your riding experience. When we tested the helmet, we got a difference of 0.5 degrees Celsius, which is a very good result, and this earns the Advent X 4 stars for the ventilation. When we compare this with the other helmets, we see that finishes at the bottom of the list while having a great result. But the helmet earns as many stars as most of the other helmets we have mentioned so far. Unlike previous years, we see that manufacturers have moved closer to another in terms of ventilation. Only the Neotech 2, Spotmuller and Evo GT perform slightly better as they were 1 degree cooler inside the helmet compared to the outside temperature. And this earned these helmets 5 stars. Great, we move on to the only subjective part of this review and that is comfort. Because comfort is hard to catch in numbers, we lean on the riding experience of our test rider. Our test rider indicated that the Advent X felt very nice while riding. And the inner lining of the Advent X is called the Ecstatic Silver Liner, which is removable and washable. This inner lining is also hypoallergenic, which means it is moisture wicking. And for an even better fit, LSU used laser cut foam to adjust it to the head shape of the rider. And when we add all this up, we see that the Advent X earns 4 stars for the comfort part. And when we compare this to the other helmets, we see that it scores well and is on par with most of the other helmets. There are two helmets that did better in this part, the Schubert C5 and the Neotech 2, which earned 5 stars for this part. Now on to the last part before we look at the end score, is the features. The first thing we are going to mention is that the helmet is PJ certified and 2206 certified. The PJ certification means that you are allowed to ride with the chamber open. If your helmet is not PJ certified, you may not ride with the chamber open, even if it's a modern helmet. The Advantix also has an emergency quick release, which is an important safety feature. This ensures that in the case of an incident, the helmet can be removed in a safe and easy way. To increase the visibility of the helmet, there are also reflective patches on the helmet. The helmet has a multi-density EPS in shell to increase safety even more. Adding all the features together, we see that the Advent X earns 3 stars for the feature, which is a solid result. Most helmets earned 4 stars on this part, with the Schubert C5 being the best with 4.5 stars. The Advent X Carbon is on par with the Spot Roller and Evo GT, so not a bad result at all. Now that we have covered all the components, we can move on to the overall scummery and final score. For the material, the Advent X earned 3.5 stars because the helmet is made of carbon and comes in two outer shell sizes. Weighing 1553 gram, the helmet earned 4 stars for the weight. For the visor, because the spin lock less prepared is included in the box, a free dark smoke visor is included in the box, and because it has an integrated sun visor, it earned 5 stars. With a value of 103 decibel, it earned 3 stars for noise and 4 stars for ventilation thanks to a difference of 0.5 degrees. Our test rider found the helmet felt good while riding, giving it 4 stars for comfort and 3 stars for features thanks to the PJ certification. Adding it all up, the Advent X Carbon has an average of 3.8 stars for which you pay 18 euros per one star. Would you like more information about the LS2 Advent X Carbon? Then be sure to take a look in our webshop, championhelmets.com, where we always offer the lowest price guarantee and have great discount bundles. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews, road tests and guides. Thank you for watching, my name is Simon from Champion Helmets and until next time.